Hello, welcome to the last round. I'm gonna mulligan this hand, like just having go for throat isn't gonna do it. I'm still gonna mulligan that as well, and this one down to four. Uh, can't mulligan this, like if we ever draw a swamp, we can at least play the Nizumi short thing here. Hoss is also pretty fine. Nizumi short thing against the blue deck should be good. Um, and if we can make him discard really good cards, then we uh, can reanimate them. So yeah, getting Nizumi short thing, definitely what I wanted. Uh, the only problem is obviously obstinate bailout. And he's gonna play what, Mana War or something? A morph, huh? Swamp. It's a godless shrine, so let's make him discard first because if he discards a really good creature, I wanna be able to reanimate it. Mind Desire. Uh, that's not a really big creature, is it? Seems like this is a Willbender. To make the most sense. Sylvan Library, really good card. Strip Mine, even better. Uh, doesn't matter though, seeing that I have three lands. Uh, obviously, taking away a creature always hurts, but. Uh, he's also getting down on cards. Please let me draw another swamp. No, we still go for throats. So we're just gonna short fang him again. The reason why I do it now and at the end of turn is because now he has less options. Uh, discards the FMI others. Probably doesn't have another forest, else I wouldn't even discard this. I'm surprised he discards this. Has to have a really good hand then. Um, questionable if I'll ever reanimate that. I just wait for him to play something really big, go for the throw that and then reanimate it. And I think that's my way out. Um, the zoom is short fang and being able to make him discard three cards already is definitely pretty good for me. But Sylvan Library is gonna give him a bunch of extra cards here. Woodland Cemetery, so he also plays black for some reason, probably deed. Uh, getting hit for two doesn't matter if he can unmorph it. Uh, maybe if it was history done, he would have unmorphed, so it can't be that. Um, here we will wait until end of turn. I don't think there's a use in uh, doing it now, seeing that he has extra cards with the library anyway. We can always bait a block, although this is a 1 1, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but in this case, I, I can at least keep open go for the throw to animate. Uh, because he, he might be at 5 mana and start casting big, strong creatures. Which I usually want to reanimate anyway. And it's really good ones he should be keeping in his hand. So, I don't think I ever want to uh, steal the creature he discards with a short fang. I'm not sure about that. Uh, he kept another card, so he's down to 12 already. Obviously, he's keep he's getting extra cards here. But does it really matter when I'm making him discard extra cards? I uh, can't really afford to block that. Uh, land... And still nothing. Like what does this guy have? Discard show and tell, so he has really big creatures. Fendillion click, huh? So I can go for the throw that when it comes into play. I think I have to. Then he takes the oust. Maybe he has a counter for the go for throat, but if he takes the house, he can obviously draw draw land now. The only thing that's holding me back right now is lands because I obviously have more cards in hand than him. I think he has to pick reanimate or oust here. 
maybe even both. But I think if I do not stop Vendil and click at this point, I, I'd be losing anyway. Uh, he lets me keep my hand, which I find weird. Uh, sh should have attacked with um, the zoom short fang, missed the damage there. Because uh, I'm not blocking, as in ever. And I'm not able to activate it anyway. I think if I draw land, I probably want to reanimate the other my elder and start using that to hit land drops. Just how good is Nizumi short Um Just putting two back. Yep. We're not really playing magic, like we're just we're already able to cast two cards, which I'm actually happy about. But if I had an extra land, if it didn't have the strip mine there, would have been way better for me. So go down to twelve. No clue what this is. Yeah, something that he hasn't unmorphed yet seems weird. Uh first item would be a monster here. Cause it locks down the land as well. It is a first item. Time spiral. That seems like a weird play. Like, why would you cast time spiral to let me get a hand as well? Well, I already had more cards, and he he's up on the tempo, so I guess that's fine. Uh, he had three cards, and now he has seven. But I mean, you're not complaining. I have a great hand here. Uh, we're obviously not gonna unmorph that. Oh, he has click again. Nice. Uh, not much to do here against that. Uh, not gonna use short fang. Uh, he can take the paladin or the cloaker. I assume he's gonna take the cloaker. I'm probably gonna play silver blade. Because then we can give something double strike later on. It depends on what he picks. Like if he picks uh, Silver Blade, we know that he doesn't have removal, or that he has removal and wants to bait out the Stone Cloaker. So he does pick the Silver Blade. Uh, I think we flicker with something, because that blocks. Uh, let's attack with the short thing, see if it blocks, and then flicker wisp it. Or we can flicker wisp, wait, does it come into play at the beginning of the next 10 step, so it doesn't help flicker wisping a uh, plane for extra... Doesn't help flicker wisping a planes for dropping the figure, so. But next turn we can cast Stone Cloaker and figure. Um, if we tap the swamp. I'm still curious what this card is. And my opponent also plays Mind's Desire, which seems odd in his colors. Like Dark Ritual, he can't have. Uh, Trend Dynamo, he can't have. Lotus Bloom, he doesn't have. He only has Time Spiral. There probably is a reason why my opponent is um, O2 as well. He might have upheaval as well. Uh, so another 2 damage here. Okay, I'm really curious what that card is. Seems so odd that he hasn't activated uh, once. Despite having so, ma so much mana. 7 mana here, has to be huge. Tooth and nail. Thirst on Emperor Gentis? Okay, let's go see this one. That explains um, what he's doing. 
So I think I want attrition. Probably don't need a stone cloaker. The rest seems fine. Soldier doesn't do much though. Yona is pretty good because nah, if he show and tells, to want to put in Yona, probably not. Okay, let's try it. Um, obviously, want to play first. Not gonna mulligan this. We have soldier, but we also uh, actually have um, the better card, Stoneforge Mystic into Skull Clamp, which is the main reason why he gave this. Uh, this time, it's his turn to mulligan, I guess. Only once. And we have house as well, just in case he drops show and tell early. I'm surprised he is losing with show and tell. Uh, still has a stop on my upkeep. Obviously want to use the ability, get a skull clamp. Begin combat with the soldier. So he knows about the skull clamp, whatever. If he plays an island and then passes a turn, what do I do? Do I still run out of Skull Clamp? Oh, he doesn't play an island. How likely is it that he has a removal here? Survival of it is okay. Nice card, but I uh, just played the wrong card again. Why me? Obviously my own mistake. A uh, bit too fast in my actions here. Because I have the feeling obviously it doesn't matter this game. Uh, While well normally you want to play... Well, that's just making excuses bec because I play fast all the time. I play too fast all the time. And it's not a lie, it just is. I think a lot of people have already noticed that. So we're definitely gonna attack with the Stoneforge here. See if he blocks. Doesn't. Goes down to 12. We cast figure. Level it up. We keep it, because we can block with it. And then drop a Windbreast Kite. Um, good question. Like, Fate Feather shuts down survival, attrition shuts down every creature. Um, but we don't have the black for. We don't have the black for the attrition activations anyway, so let's just get the Fate Feathers, which is an automatic removal for us. Uh, we can even stop survival with it, but I'm not sure if we want to. Like, at this point he's under an insane and under a huge amount of pressure. We can even get two extra damage in. Uh, so that's six, eight damage. Show and tell. Yeah. Wait, he didn't drop anything? Really, he just wanted the information? That's interesting. So he just wanted the information there. Um, do we go Cackler and Seven Alliance to up the pressure? Considering that we find ourselves to be the aggressive, we can go like this and sideboard out these like a wall is probably gone pristine angel seems bad but then these two still seem fine and then we probably don't want attrition but stone cloaker just slows myself as well let's not do that keep them in Keeps this in. 
And one more card. Maybe we do want Honor of the Pure or the Seven Alliance. And Koala for Reverence doesn't seem valuable against him. So maybe Seven Alliance is just better. But then Keckler. Nah, the problem with Keckler is that it's expensive. Um, any other card that I might want out? Don't think so. The problem with Keckler is that it's a uh, swamp, of course, that I need. Uh, pretty good hand, figure of destiny to short fang. Um, so I'm not gonna mulligan this. I think against a deck like his, we have to keep hands like this. Wow, really good good hand. We have figure of destiny into short fang, into a more of exalted angel. If we want to, I think we want to make him discard cards. Strip mine, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, thank god he uses it now and not later on. So let's just swing here for one. It's pretty annoying because we can't use Stoneforge Mystic now. But I think our play is still the same. He just bought himself with a single turn. Sylvan Library, okay. Really good card against Short Fang. So m maybe we don't want to play short fight but the basilica instead. Nah, I still think short thing is better. And then next turn we can uh, yeah, use it and then do the basilica play. Obviously library is really good. If he manages to show and tell, do I want Exalted Angel or Blood Gift Demon? I think Blood Gift Demon because drawing cards will give me more outs compared to Exalted Angel. I don't even think I can raise a Progenitus. Like Thirst Totten, I can raise, I guess. It's a good question. Can I raise anything if he drops Thirst Totten or Progenitus with show and tell? That's basically the question. Like if he drops Progenitus, is Exalted Angel enough? Taps for doesn't have a mana here. Regrowth, regrowth is a strip mine. Really, do you think that's gonna matter? That's actually not that bad for me because still he doesn't get the the cards that I would dislike him to get rid of. I uh, obviously want to get myself a skull clamp. It's the best card I have in my deck here. It draws me a bunch of cards. The fact that he's doing that, hoping to mana screw me, um, makes him not. I think he doesn't realize that I'm the aggressor and he's the late game deck. It's mismanagement of who's the beat down. If you haven't read that article yet, go check it out. It's from Mike Flores. It's an old article. Like it's <laughs> ages old, but it's a it's a good one. Uh, it basically defines how you have to look at matchups and consider uh, how to play sometimes because it's different depending on uh, yeah who's the beat on. That's what it's named. Um, I think here we play the skull clamp and keep it on the stone forge. Because we want to play the basilica. Uh, we're gonna bounce the plane because we don't want him to have something. Well, do we really? Did I just not play land? Oh man, that's harsh. That's so harsh. I missed the land drop there by clicking once too much. These are things that never happen in real life. And as I said, I just play too fast. Like I'm, I'm clicking through it, looking at the damage, and like, yeah, th now it's my turn. Uh, he basically misses land drop here as well. But well, at least we can level figure now. Um. We can also short fang him, but I don't think. It's necessary, I think, having the extra damage is more important. Play the Basilica. Get back the Swamp, because then we can 
level this. We would have already been at uh, four mana this turn. Yeah, Flex Stones is really good against his strip mine. But a bit too late, he already used strip mine and regrowth on the strip mine. But I don't see him winning this. Unless he has something really good here. I think he's digging for... He has to be digging for an island. Um, do we level and threaten lethal? Good question. I think the answer is yes. Yeah, it's GG. So we we'll still go 1-2. Um, and I'll see you guys for next draft.